Thursday, 11 ish, 11 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time. We've been driving over here to Arkansas, brainstorming. Got a, several pages of 2023 goals and plans. Regina's got her fancy <laughs> notebook. And we're going to go do some sourcing today and try to get home and watch the OU game. There's an OU game? <laughs> yeah. It's the first time. She always does. This is the first time hearing it. It's this. been taught. They've been talking about it all week. What time? 4.30 or 5. Oh, yeah. okay. We, we should be home probably do it. that. We'll probably do it. <laughs> I'm going to make her. <laughs> anyway, we just want to give you an update, and we'll probably do some little videos in there depending on how Show it is. Show you what we find. Uh, yeah, or, how, or what we find later. But this is our second time here. Okay. Nice. I like that. <laughs> See you guys. You want to come over? <laughs> Make sure you're working. <laughs> total spend 106 Woo, I almost spent 40 <laughs> <laughs> we might do a competition on this haul but <laughs> I got found some good stuff so did I <laughs> uh, happy birthday thanks <laughs> the people like, in line behind me uh, like there was no one behind me uh -huh. and then there was six people <laughs> so whatever all right I'm glad you found that extra stuff I know all right where's next I don't I don't know okay we're gonna see what's next let's see Alright, so we are headed to Springdale yep. uh, to another thrift store and maybe another and another. And maybe another and another, we don't know. But we had some good luck. Well I did, I know. I did too. Um, I would show you like my super win. But I can't because it's in the back. <laughs> I'll show you later. It's like um, 68 degrees. It's, it's December, crazy. December 30th. Yeah, it's December 30th. Um, last Pass week. this light. Then at the next one, turn left. <laughs> um, last week it was one degree outside, and today it's almost 70, so it's insane. Uh, all right. So keep you updated. Keep you updated.
doing some shipping today. This is a um, bumper book, like a nursery rhymes book. I forgot to take a video before I put it, put it in the box. Um, this is pretty cool. It's an old thermos. I bought it in a state sale. You saw it on another video. We um, sent an offer back and forth with the guy. Uh, long story short, came down quite a bit from what I was originally asking. I didn't know what to ask for it, but mainly I was asking because of the patina and this awesome handle. But it's going to its right right place. Uh, the guy sent a message. I'll share that. Um, he lost one similar to this. So took a, a lower offer than I originally planned, but still made money on it. So I'm happy for that. This is a 49ers new old stock license plate fitting that it sells right now. Uh, Stay Alive vintage um, vintage uh, Milton Bradley board game or game from the 70s, 80s, I guess. Um, this Tupperware mixing cup and Herbie the Love Bug going out the door. All right, so we got a big day going out today. Some stuff that was sold over the holidays but it has to ship today. We had leeway since the post office was closed. So we're getting ready to run all this up there. It's been there. All right, we're headed out. It's Tuesday afternoon. We've got all the shipments that are going out from Poshmark and eBay. We had a good week between Christmas Day and New Year's Day, so it all had to ship today. And then we had one that the guy wanted to delay until after the new year i guess he was out of out of town so it's shipping out today also but um this is just from like friday not christmas through oh i thought we had some from christmas no okay yeah so That'd it's be a long time i don't remember that <laughs> <laughs> i'm making stuff up anywho Since friday last friday we didn't ship on friday and then saturday um we didn't ship we did our show, but we knew that it would just sit because okay. the post office is closed Sunday and Monday, okay. so we just waited till today. So disregard, I'll probably edit that out, whatever I just told you. <laughs> anyway, it was a big batch of stuff. Um, how much, well, we don't need to go dollars. How many packages Poshmark? Um, seven. So yeah, like seven Poshmark orders going out and eight eBay orders going out. So 15 parcels. They're saying, you know, they were pulling people over. All right, we'll see you in a minute at the post office. Hey, it's Tom, the funky little studio, coming to you from the outside on our patio. There's some construction going on behind us, but I wanted to come outside because it's too nice for January. Um, anyway, we did a quick haul, or we did a quick uh, roadie to Arkansas, once for Regina's birthday, the other half of the Funky Little Studio. She typically does like clothing and all that kind of um, accessories, purses, clothing, shoes. I think typically do like the hard goods, the knickknacks, the bric-a-bracs, the patty wax, anything else that I can find to sell on eBay. I typically do eBay. Um, I help her with some whatnot live auctions. And then we both do Poshmark, uh, mainly her on Poshmark. And then we, sell mainly on those three platforms. So I'm going to go over a quick haul video. This microphone's not really working. I picked this up. It was uh, at the place in Arkansas. I haven't tested it yet, but I'm just going to play. Um, here's some quick things I got. This is just like a grab bag. This was uh, super cheap. It's got some just random stuff in it, crafty stuff. So I'll probably just part that out, most of it. And then what I can't sell, I'll donate. Um, this was some Oric XL uh, vacuum bags. I don't know what I gave for them, but it's basically mostly full. There may be one missing. I'll go through these quick so you guys aren't bored with all this. This was crazy. I bought a bunch of these. Um, they have a yellow sticker on them, or an orange sticker. The day we were there, they were 50 cents a piece. So I'm going to test them, clean them up, and probably either lock those up or uh, sell them individually. But for 50 cents, I couldn't go wrong. Um, let's see, I don't know where to go. This was just a vintage Christmas stand. It has a Kmart sticker on it. Looks like it's new old stock. Um, this was a, you guys remember these? It was a three-in-one convertible chair. That's upside down. 
kind of has a little tackle box and it folds. It's aluminum with like the blue. You can use it as a picnic chair, camp stool, or a fishing fishing chair. Um, that'll go on eBay. I'll go through this stuff real quick. This is a walkie dog. This mounts on your bike, and then you can put your dog's leash on here and pedal your bike along. And it's got a little spring to it. It's detachable. So once you guys get to your destination, this stays on your bike. This will um, still go with you and still be hooked to the leash. Um, Ozark Mountain Christmas ornament. I'm not sure why I picked that up. It was just super cheap. NBA fleece throw. I'm telling you, it's all over the map. These are little things that go over your soccer cleats or your rugby cleats or your football cleats to keep your laces from coming untied. It might be good for runners too. I don't know. Never thought of it. Uh, chili pepper grilling set. That's the PBS guy, Stephen Reichlin. A Flutmaster flexible uh, flapper. This is a steel. A Black & Decker 18 volt, new in the package. A Camelback mouthpiece. Some of the stuff was 50 cents, some of it uh, was marked down, and some of it was full price. I already peeled the stickers off. I would tell you what I paid for some of it. This is for stained glass. It's called a table foiler. I picked it up and I'm like, what is this thing? And it's made out of like a MDF or particle board, but it's got a um, Formica cover and edges. It's for the 3 16th size. And somehow you do something with stained glass. It's already sold. I just listed it like a day or two ago. It sold um, overnight. So one thing's already gone, or not gone, but that's why I want to get this video them already sold. Um, I bought three of these. These are Minwick, Minwax uh, furniture touch-up pencils. I don't know if that was really a good buy. I went ahead and picked them up. New in the package, uh, wireless headphones. Oh, this was a good one. This is one of those things you just never know. It's called a Bounce Dryer Bar. Brand new. It's been taped up, but it's all there. Brand new in the package. You stick this in your dryer, and it stays in there for three months. It's a two-piece kit. It's already listed, but the comps on this were unreal. I think I gave like under four bucks for it. That listed for like over a hundred. Um, what else was there? I haven't listed these yet, but some vintage Sears canister vacuum bags. Probably going to keep this. A USA 1976 Bicentennial license plate. This is like a uh, safety protective little helmet for an infant child. I guess uh, if they have uh, an issue with their, uh, I don't know, just a safety thing. I don't know uh, if it's big money, but I thought, well, it'll sell eventually and it doesn't take a whole lot of space up. This is some kind of a seamstress measuring tool. This is a Brian Deegan Metal Militia action figure and motorcycle. Happy Vibes Vintage uh, from Bath and Body Works. That's already listed. Oops, oh, that's spilling. Another grab bag, it was um, GoPro mounts and whatnot. Uh, so there's a couple pieces I may keep and I may sell the others as like little replacement pieces. Not big money, but I wanted to just check out the mounts. I may use some of those. A shower filter by Sprite. It's listed. New in the box, vintage Halston gift set. A grab bag of the little badge a minute button makers. This is a terrible setup I have here. Then I bought some um, vintage perfumes. Magnifique by Lancome, Queen by Queen Latifah, and I think this one's worth some big money if I can get it sold. It's Hot House Peony by Royal Apothic. It seems like these, there's not very many listed, and they have them listed fairly high, so hopefully, I listed mine this morning a little bit, you're kind of in the middle. We'll see what happens. Oh, a uh, Bailey's. Irish cream coffee mug and a 
Blendtec little blender thing. Clean that up a little bit. These, about a couple boxes of each, there's like a medical supply, Convitec. They were priced pretty low and the comps look good on them. I think one of them's maybe for a, like a, a stoma thing and the other one might be for some kind of a colostotomy or something, I'm not sure. And those are legal to sell, we'll see. Check, check, check. Uh, two of these Dell 6,000 page toner cartridges. I listed them fairly competitive. I had a low ball, not a low ball offer, but an offer already, but I turned it down because I think they set for a minute, they'll sell. This new old stock Easy Sprout, I don't know if it's new old stock, but it's very, very gently used. So sprout your own, um, what do you call that? Like sprout your own sprouts, I guess. I don't know. Uh, this was a dud. It was two double wall stemless um, Rachel Zoe wine glasses. I opened them, but I didn't realize they had bubble wrap around them. One of them was broke, so we only got one out of two, so we'll just keep those. We'll use them. Got two of these portfolio uh, landscape lighting. Those sold this morning. Took an offer. Both of them. They wanted both of them, so that was quick and easy. They just got listed a couple days ago, or yesterday or the day before. This is crazy. It's an ultra EFX camera shade. I don't know that it's all there, but um, it was like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, and the comps on those look pretty good. It looks like it's basically new. It may be missing a piece or something. I'm not totally sure yet. It, I haven't listed that one yet. Oh, this is cool. Um, Dialomatic. The Ron Popeil, like the famous ad TV commercial guy. Um, Dialomatic chopper, slop, chopper, price chopper, miracle thing. I don't know what it's called. Um, who all had one of these growing up? The weaving loom. It's complete. Uh, I don't think it'll bring big money, but if it doesn't sell, we'll, we'll donate it. These are cool. Two new old stock AJ Foyt IndyCar shirts, brand new. Um, I haven't looked those up really yet, but I couldn't pass them up because they were, you could tell they were brand new. Here's a white one. It's a smaller size, but still pretty cool. Yeah, it's a short sleeve medium. It says it still has a sticker on the front. So I don't know if those were giveaways or from the merch trailer or what. And you guys sell puzzles? I don't usually buy them unless they're sealed, but this was just a cool graphic on this one. It's a bunch of windows or doors, multicolored. And if you do sell puzzles, do you put them together first or count the pieces or how do you do that? Because I haven't really got into it, selling open ones. It leads me to believe they're all there since they took the time to seal it up. But if anybody wants to put a puzzle together for me, I will let you do that. I may just count the pieces. I still have been buying um, games. This one was like 50 cents. I haven't checked it out yet, but if it's not all there, I'll part it out, or it may be beneficial to part it out, I'm not sure. This is a really cool one, vintage, I think it's 79 or 80, NFL strategy. I couldn't pass that up. I don't know what they're doing. I thought they were doing construction on a concrete on a concrete parking lot, but they are tearing some stuff up. A couple more games. This is very cool. It's a uh, vintage operation, not complete. It's missing a couple of the pieces, but I'm gonna do another video on this, but it's got the smoking doctor, which makes it a little bit more special. Not big money, but it was cheap enough. I picked it up. Never seen this one before. <clears throat> the World Traveler. I need to open it up and see if it's complete. I don't know yet. This one I didn't open up and probably got screwed over on it, but it's called Bumperina. Really, the only thing in there is the playing field. All the pieces are gone. So I should have opened it in the store, but that's okay. Um, then I bought some clothing waiting on Regina. This is like a vintage wind shirt, McGregor. Quality, quality Kmart product. Nickelodeon from the show All That. Don't have a clue, but we showed it on our What Not Show their day, and everybody knew about it. All, all that. Uh, this is cool. Um, vintage sweatshirt. Remember these? Zip up. Yeah, like the Christmas gift that keeps on giving. Nintendo. 
hoodie. I think that will sell. I'll probably let Regina list that one. These are cool. I paid a little bit too much for these, possibly. I think I gave 20 bucks for them. But I think they'll still sell. I may, I may not make as much as my first box. There's some on there that are way higher. But it's a brand new OEM set of the Subaru Ascent um, floor mats. Oh, and one thing that fell with the wind. <clears throat> this was a dollar ninety nine at Goodwill. It's a blingy um, Harley women's Harley hat from Jamaica. I think that's the gist of it. Most of it is covered. Like I said, a couple things have already sold: the two um, patio landscaping lights and that stained glass tool. So that made about ninety nine dollars of my. I think I spent like one forty, one thirty. Somewhere between 130 and 140 so we're almost there and getting it paid off so the rest of it will all be profit after we sell like 40 more dollars from that something like that anyway thanks for watching uh comment below if you know anything about um any of these items that i didn't really know much about or what do you guys do on do you sell board games or uh is there anything that you i should be looking for when i'm out there because i'm just still freestyling um Regina's got the clothes down pat. She's pretty much got that figured out, but I'm still just picking up just random stuff. But some of it's better. It turns out better than you think. But thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and YouTube. And we also have a Facebook page. And I think we will have TikTok soon. See you next time. Thanks, guys. studio um want to do a quick haul video here i am with the sun again but it's too nice not to be doing this outside um regina and i went to arkansas twice once uh december 16th i believe it was for her birthday happy birthday regina um and the second time was like the december 29th right before the new year we went over there again and um we got a good place. We did a Goodwill and then a, a little standalone thrift store. And I want to go over a quick haul video. Um, I'm Thomas Gibson, the funky little studio. Hey, it's Tom, funky little studio. Uh, I do the hard goods and stuff. Regina does the clothing typically. I want to do a quick haul video on our couple visits to Arkansas. Uh, we went there on her birthday, December 16th. Let me slide it over. Alright, let's try this out and see what the sound's like, okay?